Hey guys, Melinda here. The music world got really sad news recently, and that is Chester Bennington, lead singer of Linkin Park, has died. I was speechless when I found that out, and I could not stop crying. If you guys aren't aware, Linkin Park is my favorite band and has been ever since I was a little kid. They have been with me through all of the bad times in my life, have been with me through the good. I saw them live a few times and they just mean so much to me. And when I heard the news, like, I didn't want to believe it. My mom was the first one to break it to me. She texted me saying that he was gone and my initial thought was no, no, it can't be, this is, no, it has to be a hoax, like, this can't be a thing. Then of course I go online and the first person to report on it was TMZ, which they can be known for having false news, but I feel like this is not something that you would fake, especially to the extent of what had happened to him and that's he committed suicide. You wouldn't joke about something as severe as that and that's how I knew it was real. I just fell apart instantly, like me and Gianna were getting ready to go to a movie and I just froze. I just sat there and I stared at my phone because I just could not believe what had just happened. It really affected me and still is. I am on a social media hiatus right now because every time I go on there, there's some new article or picture about Chester and it just makes me so sad that I almost start crying still. And I just needed a, a break from it. Like I, I didn't want to do that to myself and I knew the appropriate thing that I really wanted to do was make this video about it because suicide is not something that I take lightly. I've said this in other videos, but if you're new to my channel and you aren't aware, I lost a friend many, many years ago to suicide. And ever since then, as a friend and even as an outsider, if I see someone struggling and see that it has symptoms leading to that, I do my absolute best to make sure that suicide isn't the option. I don't want anybody to take their life. So it really affected me when I saw that Chester had died from it. I wonder what was so horrible that he felt that this was the option and there's been like lots of speculation that I've read all over the internet from articles and stuff saying that some people speculate it's because of all the backlash that Linkin Park has been getting from One More Light that this album was terrible. Other speculations is that his good friend Chris Cornell who recently committed suicide as well was a big factor, which could possibly be because they were best they they were best friends and he had only done it a few months prior and you know that that weighs on you. I also read that for many years he struggled with drugs and alcohol and so there were probably many reasons why he decided to do this. But it doesn't matter what those reasons are. What matters is that he's gone. This is a major issue and this is not something that we should take lightly and I've seen this all over the place and I completely agree with it that when people do this other people are like you know what it's gonna be okay they were okay blah 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 and everyone's saying it's okay to not be okay and that goes for anybody that's struggling with issues like it's okay to not be okay just know that there are people out there who love and support you. I honestly wish there was something as a fan I could do to prove to Chester that so many people loved him and we wanted to see him go on, like see the progression that he could make in Lincoln Park and in his life. It's just really sad to know that he's gone. I feel like a part of me is gone with him. But I'm working on getting better. Staying off social media has helped a lot and just reaching out to my family and my friends. They've been helping me through this. I just kind of wanted to talk about that today and just know that if you guys are struggling out there, there are people that will help you. There are people that love and support you. Here is a number right here that you can call and you can talk to people and they can help you through your issues. They are there for you. Other people are there for you too, and it's important that we address this issue as important as it is. So I'm sorry about the really sad video today, but I just really wanted to get this message out and I just have not had the courage within myself to make this just because I've been sad 
ever since the news. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, please reach out to those that you think might be struggling, or if you're struggling yourself, please reach out to others. Let's stop this from happening again. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Live life, always laugh, and enjoy the journey. Bye.